Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting question from Algebra Rational Equations. We have to solve for the real values of x. So let's get started. By writing our denominators cannot be 0. So our answer x cannot be equal to 3, cannot be 4 and cannot be 6. Now we will say our radicands must be positive for real x. So I can write here 3 minus x should be greater than 0. 4 minus x should be greater than 0. And 6 minus x should be greater than 0. So from first inequality, I will get x should be less than 3. From second inequality, we will get x should be less than 4. And from third inequality, we will write x should be less than 6. So if we will take intersection of these three inequalities, we will get condition our answer must be less than 3. So we are going to accept those values of x where x is less than 3. Now we have to solve our equation. I will use method of substitution. Let us say 3 minus x. Suppose this is equal to u. So 4 minus x will be u plus 1. And 6 minus x will be u plus 3. From our substitution equation 3 minus x equal to u, we will get x value which will be equal to 3 minus u which we have to apply in RHS. So I will write our equation in terms of u now. We will write 1 over square root u plus 1 over square root 4 minus x. So we will write square root u plus 1 plus 1 over square root u plus 3. In RHS, we have x, so we will write 3 minus u. In the denominator, we will write square root u times square root u plus 1 times square root u plus 3. Now we are going to take LCM. So we will get, so we will write here common denominator square root u times square root u plus 1 times square root u plus 3. And in the numerator we have to write square root u plus 1 times square root u plus 3 plus square root u times square root u plus 3 plus square root u times square root u plus 1. And in RHS, we will write 3 minus u over square root u, square root u plus 1, square root u plus 3. Now we will cancel our denominator from both the sides. And we will take this minus u to the LHS. So I can write u plus, let me write here u plus square root u plus 1 times square root u plus 3 plus square root u times square root u plus 3 plus square root u times square root u plus 1 equal to 3. Now we can write this u as a square root u times a square root u. Then we will be writing our third term which is having a square root u. So I will write here a square root u times a square root u plus 3. Then we will write a square root u plus 1 times square root u plus 3 
plus a square root u times a square root u plus 1 equal to 3. Now from these two terms we will take a square root u plus 1 common and from these two terms we will take a square root u common. So we will get a square root u common out in the bracket a square root u plus a square root u plus 3. Then we will take a square root u plus 1 common out. So in the bracket we are going to write a square root u plus 3 plus a square root u equal to 3. Now we will take a square root u plus a square root u plus 3 overall common. So we will get a square root u plus 3 plus a square root u in one bracket which is overall common and then other bracket will write square root u plus 1 plus square root u equal to 3. Now we will consider 3 from the RHS. Now we have 3 in the RHS which we can write u plus 3 minus u. Now we will write u plus 3 as square root u plus 3 whole square minus u can be written as square root u whole square. Now we will apply difference of two squares formula a square minus b square which will be equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we will write our equation square root u plus 3 plus square root u times square root u plus 1 plus square root u. And in RHS we will apply difference of two squares formula. We will get square root u plus 3 plus square root u times square root u plus 3 minus square root u. Now we will divide both sides by square root u plus 3 plus square root u. So let us divide u plus 3 plus square root u. In RHS also we will divide by square root u plus 3 plus square root u. So we will cancel these two terms here. We will cancel these two terms here. Sum of two square roots cannot be zero. So we can divide. Now we have square root u plus 1 plus square root u in the LHS and square root u plus 3 minus square root u in the RHS. Now we will take minus square root u to the LHS. So it will become 2 times square root u. And in the RHS we will get square root u plus 3 minus square root u plus 1. Once we will take this term to the RHS. So I will write equation 2 times square root u equal to square root u plus 3 minus square root u plus 1. Now we are going to take squaring both sides. So let us put part 2 both sides. We will write here part 2 and in RHS also we will put part 2. Now we will use a minus b whole square formula in RHS. In LHS 2 square is 4 and root u square is u. Now we have to apply identity a minus b whole square here. So we will get u plus 3 plus u plus 1 minus 2 times a square root of u plus 1 times u plus 3. We will write here 4u in RHS we will get 2u plus 4 minus 2 times square root of u plus 1 times u plus 3. Now we will subtract 
2u from both the sides. So we will get 2u equal to 4 minus 2 times square root of u plus 1 times u plus 3. Now equation is divisible by 2. Let's divide both sides by 2. We will get u equal to 2 minus a square root of u plus 1 times u plus 3. Now we will rewrite our equation after interchanging our terms. We will get a square root of u plus 1 times u plus 3 in the LHS and in the RHS 2 minus u. We are going to consider squaring once again as we have a square root in LHS. So par 2 and this side also we will put par 2. Now a square root and a square will be over from left hand side. We will get u plus 1 times u plus 3 equal to 2 minus u whole square. Now we will be using a minus b whole square formula. So I will write here u plus 1 times u plus 3 equal to 2 minus u whole square. So we will write here 4 plus u square minus 4u. In LHS we will expand and write u square plus 3u plus 1u 4u. 1 times 3 is 3. In RHS, we have u square minus 4u plus 4. So, we will subtract u square from both the sides. Now, we will take minus 4u to the LHS. So, it will become 8u and 4 minus 3 is 1. So, u is coming out 1 over 8. Now, u was our substitution. 3 minus x. So I will write here 3 minus x equal to 1 over 8. So x will be equal to 3 minus 1 over 8 which we can write here 3 as 24 over 8 minus 1 over 8 value will be 23 over 8. So our solution is x equal to 23 over 8 and as per our condition, this value is slightly less than 3. So we will say our solution is correct. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.